What is good guys, it's your boy back with another fucking video, man. It's been almost two weeks and I apologize, but I've noticed within like the last few weeks since I made that video or before I made that video, I was spending a lot of money on shoes and don't get me wrong, I love shoes. That's part of my lifestyle now, you know, collecting shoes, wearing shoes and all that other shit. But I needed to take a step back and just, you know, save my money use it for utilities and all that other good shit so i cut back on it a little bit um speaking of like today i got this was the first pair i bought since two weeks it's been almost two weeks already and the last pair i got was the 12s that came out and then i also got a pair of obsidian ones that day as well so i ended up spending about 650 bucks on some shoes that day so yeah i spent a whole bankroll on just two pairs of shoes so um yeah so i i was trying i was trying to cut down a little bit on that um i feel like i did a good job because i went a whole week last week without the um without buying any pairs and you know i felt proud of myself and then this week came we kept getting shoe release pushbacks push-ups and all this other shit and um yeah i knew eventually this week this was gonna be the week that i bought a pair at least at least one i'm not gonna buy like three pairs this week or anything like that but today man i got some fire right here for you guys so we're not gonna waste any more time um you know what let's this is gonna be a newsworthy video too man because um i've also been thinking about this while um you know like because the nba just returned last week and i've been watching a lot of basketball as well while i've been working as well so this is gonna be comment of the day here it's not gonna be related to any shoe um any like part of, like the sneaker review or this and that this is gonna be related to my channel let me know if you guys or because i'm planning i want to do like today i was gonna make one more video i was gonna um do like a week in review since the nba has been back in the bubble i was gonna do like a week of review and um i was gonna put down this channel now i'm like thinking should i do a different channel i really don't want to make a different channel that means i have to get another email and this and that i really don't want to make another channel but i would rather want to keep this on this channel but depending on how numbers do on this video on this type of video you know if i were to do an nba video would uh would you guys rather have me do a second channel or should you just have like because like i said like i said i've been I, i'm i want to make it more diverse i don't want to be just sneakers or 2k and this and that i want to be about basketball too i want to do nba as well too since his return so um i'm probably gonna make another video after this one but comment let me know what's um what you think i should do with like nba content wise and you're basically gonna be just hearing me talk about like the weekend review and this and that so uh, just let me know if you guys want me to put it down in this channel or should I make a different channel? But um, either way, let's get into the shoe review. Before I even start, make sure you guys you guys know what to do. If you guys are new, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. It really helps me out. And also make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And, and share. And also share. Just share, share, share. We got the other S word. Anyways, man. Here we go. The Air Jordan 1 box. And if you guys can see the label, this is a size 11 in women's, 9.5 in men's. So, you guys read that right there. Size 11 in women's, 9.5 men's. I got this from my boy today. Like I said, he got off a sneakers app. And, um, what happened? So, when he told me that he got the shoe off of exclusive access, I was planning on trying to make a video within this past week or you know like whenever i got the shoe i told him to do two day shipping he forgot to do it so now it's basically out the shoe is basically out now so i tried to do an early review this would have been probably like one of my only few times i would have got an early review but that didn't help it happen it's okay though shout out my boy tanner for the uh pair as well but here we go man man dude look at these look at these right here oh my god i don't know why there's a green stand right there we can just get that off and bam here you guys go we got the air jordan one satan snake snake sa satin snakes satin bread satin red whatever you want to call the shits man bro Let me give you a quick little quick little look real quick so here we got white toe box 
long red leather right here around the shoe and then when you get to the back of the heel you get that snake print uh heel tab as well and then the swoosh sign is also um that little snake material somewhat uh you got like a nice leather on the side and then you got a white midsole along with a black outsole as well and then the only satin there is on here is the tongue really it's really just the tongue and you get the that um you know i like there's not like a a plastic you know like a plastic tab is like a leather tab you know i'm glad there's it isn't plastic you know um and it also comes with three um three laces you get the black one and then you also get the red and the white let me show you the other shoe real quick just to show you and i like that too just because i kind of wish for the unc the shies the women's release i wish we would have got like a pair of like releases like a pair of laces that we did for the um the fearless ones and so here we go right here white and red bam so um i'm not gonna lie i really wasn't that big of a fan when i first saw the shoe but then you had to look at it again and again and it's like bro they really does bring the chicago vibes a little bit a little bit not not fully just because of the black heel and the heel tab but it's there though it's there so um just seeing this reminds me of the chicago colorway a little bit this will be the closest thing we're gonna get to chicago's i don't know when we're gonna get some chicago's um but this is like the closest we can get right now i know everybody's been wanting to be like oh let's just bring back the chicago's and this and that guys you can't expect a retro like the chicago's to come back every two to three to five years some pairs like like the cool grays we haven't seen the cool grays since uh 2010 i think or something like that um so it's been a while so um i know everybody, everybody was expecting to get those this year but that's not gonna happen um i think even if it were to come even if we were to get confirmation that it was gonna come out i feel like with the covid and shit i don't even think we were gonna get the pair anyway so um so that just knocks off that um but yeah like i said bro it this brings you back to chicago colorway vibes a little bit not really so much with the black outsole or the black heels having the back but the red leather and then the black swoosh as well um i do really like the shoe though don't get me wrong i love the shoe and, and like i said the women's are the women are getting really nice heat this year as well but um yeah man this is a really dope looking sneaker bro this is this is gonna do trouble bro it, it's gonna do trouble if i thought the light this the light smoke gray ones are gonna do trouble this is gonna do trouble as well i mean bro like for the new sneaker heads like me and a lot of other people this is gonna be the closest we get to chicago's for right now i don't know when we're gonna get a pair of chicago's word on the street is you know we're getting you know we've been getting those uh the 85 um ones you know like we had the reverse bread and then we're gonna get the cool grays eventually if they do a chicago if they do a chicago colorway on that that will do fucking numbers and best believe i will be pre-ordering that shoe so um quick review of the shoe real quick though uh if i had to give it a rate mm, i think if i put it on my feet i'd probably give it a nine out of ten if you're looking at it in hand i'll say uh eight i don't know i don't know how I, I don't know man it's a hard shoe to rate i, I like the shoe though I, don't get me wrong I, I like the shoe a lot i think i think it, i think the rate would just reflect like it will determine on how it looks on feet and i think i've seen in pictures on feet before but i need to see on my feet you know in order for me like you know but i'm gonna give it an eight if i put the shoe on you know i'll probably give it a nine you know um the leather up top looks really nice though bro like the quality on this leather is just really nice to be honest with you like i'm not gonna complain about it at all it looks really nice um the red tongue do i think they should have done white maybe i feel like they should have done black to be honest with you i really i really do believe they should have done i think if you were to do a black tongue i think this will pop out a whole lot better you know than just the red satin tongue and that's just my personal opinion i wish they would have done a red a black tongue instead of the red but like i said i'm not com gonna complain about it um and plus since you got a black outsole as well you might as well just make the tongue black but um yeah man i'm gonna give it a 
eight out of ten. Once I put on my feet, if I like it, then I'll probably give it a nine. It's not no ten. It's not a ten out of ten for me. But and I think and I think it's just not a nine out of ten. I think it's not a ten for me just because of the satin material, not the satin, the the snake material on the back of the heel tab and the heel. I really don't. I mean, like I said, I'm not gonna complain about it. It's the concept of the shoe. But like I said, like. I think this will it would look a whole lot better if it weren't for the the snake material on the back but um like i said that was gonna be a quick review let me know what you think about these air jordan ones uh satin snake satin bread whatever you want to call them oh if you guys see this shirt by the way um got it from my boy um rp mama my rp mama it's still it's still unbelievable that he's fucking gone bro it really do is to be honest with you that's how you know 2020 was gonna suck right away but um we're not gonna get into deep for that i'll make a vi another video on that like eventually but um let me know what you guys think about the nba like uh if you want to see like nba content on here if you want to see a different channel just let me know i might make a video and then post it on here so uh we'll just see how that goes and you know just go with the flow ride the waves um like i said um next review next review now we were supposed to get the the Bel Air 5 is coming out this Saturday. They pushed it up and then they pushed it back to the 15th. I really don't understand why, but they're they're back to the 15th. Then we're going to get the the laser, not the laser 3, the laser orange 3s for the women's again. Then we're also getting the Indigo 12s. I don't know if I'm going to get those. To be honest with you, I have not been feeling it. But we got some heat this, this month and next month as well. We got some nice as heat especially for next month of september man so um like i said just keep just keep um just keep your notifications on as well man i'm sorry i haven't been posting a lot like i said i've been trying to cut back on shoes as of late i just want to focus on my job and just continue to work and work and just save up and save up because eventually i want to get the shoe business going down eventually um but like i said it takes it's going to take a lot of discipline and patience really i just need to discipline myself to stop buying all these shoes and shit and then just i know everything is not gonna happen right away so that's where the patients come in i know everything's not gonna happen right right away um eventually it will happen it'll just fall into pieces but like i said i'm just not rushing anything but at the same time i just need to be more disciplined with my money as well but um that's a lesson for you guys as well but like i said make sure you comment subscribe all that shit like and make sure you uh share the video as well your mom and daddy your grandpappies your grandmas and all that little shit your friends make sure you share this channel to them and they sub and then so that way they can subscribe to me as well but like i said make sure you guys um keep your notifications on i'm out till the next video guys i'm out